Uzbekistan's Navvahor will be hoping they can add to their already impressive tally as they sit in second place in Group D on four points. Their opponents, Nasaji from Iran, have just one point less in third spot. The team from Namangan are without Georgian frontman Tabatadze and must rely on Abdul Kholikov to lead the line in the Markazi Stadium. The visitors are without central defender Hushman due to suspension after his red card against Al Hilal, but match day one goal scorers Hosseini and Azadi both start. Into the action we go, first chance of the game, and what a chance it is as well, forcing a really good save, which will only really become apparent in the replay. Yuldashev arriving at the back post, Mazaheri with a fine stop with his right foot, the follow-up then into the side netting. First half hour was a bit scrappy, the chances only coming towards the end of the first half, and they would produce the first goal of the game as well. The number nine, Azadi, taking full advantage of the mistake at the back by Ivanovic, and that would give the side from Iran a 1-0 lead to take down the tunnel at half-time. The big number nine with a really classy finish into the bottom right corner, getting the job done, even if it was with a little bit of help from the Navbahor defence. The Uzbek side, however, will get a little bit of help from their opponents as well, with Nasaji going down to 10 men. Initially, a yellow card, VAR stepping in, and Sabah Hardani given his marching orders for a reckless challenge. His side now a man down and that would give Navbahor all they needed to power forward and go hunting for the equaliser. Fantastic effort with the outside of the right boot there from Uronov. Mazaheri tipping it over the crossbar, frantically backpedalling, but does well to make the save anyway. Uronov, then a lovely little one-two, gets the ball back and the number seven who was instrumental in the second half is the man who gives the side from Uzbekistan the equaliser, their second 45-minute performance deserved. Lovely link-up play on the edge of the penalty area. Three touches and a classy finish into the side netting, levels things up. And he was at it again not long later, a carbon copy of the setup for the first this time. However, Farshid Ismail with the own goal. Heartbreak for Nasaji, 97th minute of play, and that would secure all three points, which sees Nabahor go top of Group D with their second win of the group stage. Nasaji remain on three points after back-to-back -back defeats at the end of match day three.